I said I'd show you my wheatgrass growth, and these are my hydro hydroponic wheatgrasses. I think it's growing a little bit better than the soil. Um, easier to control, uh, especially the gnats and the mold. It's growing pretty well to me, so I should just show you. Basically, I'm growing them in glass because I don't, I don't like using plastic at all. I mean, when I was really sick, I learned that uh, plastic, uh, BPA, and all of this is just toxic for our bodies. And a lot of people say that Lyme disease is a toxicity of the body, and it just attracts all these foreign invaders. And most normal immune systems can beat Lyme, but people are, who are severely depressed in their immune system can't really beat Lyme. And right here I got a soil grown. This one's, this one's pretty good. I think this one's about to go. It's like the same one that I juiced inside. Um, a little flimsy. I think I let it grow too long. Uh, and here's my sauna also. Great, great Lyme disease. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Here's my wheatgrass. And it's growing pretty well. I have a bad one right here, I can show you. Kinda got like a, that little hole right there. There's sort of a bunch of mold, there's still mold in there. Um, and like the wheatgrass just doesn't grow when there's mold, so I'm not gonna eat that one. I'll chuck it like the others. I got a bunch of others in the back that I chuck. Still learning, so give me a break. So I hope you enjoyed those videos, and be sure to check out my website, Organic Vegan Hippie Food. Um, for the latest blog post and whatever else is on there, especially the store. I like the store. It shows you pretty much what I use to get healthy from Lyme disease and, you know, to just to get healthy and happy. It was, it was a long, long road and, I mean, I learned so much and I'm happy to share it with anybody. So check out Organic Vegan Hippie Food and stay tuned for more videos.